Okay, folks, uh, Phil here from Natural Skiers to Test Drive. The only new ski in the lineup for Blizzard next year. And what a ski. This is the new Thunderbird. The Thunderbird is a revelation for a guy who ski all the time, coaches the kids, ski fist ski, even my, you know, my free ski to ski short turn in Tremblant and Sutton or everywhere. It's a fist slalom ski. I love a fist ski. But next year, I will grab myself a Thunderbird. And in this case, the one that I will pick is a wide body at 76 under the foot and 15 meter radius. Now I'm not stuck at 15 meter radius. I could push on it and carve it at eight meter radius. I'm gonna grab this ski because it is lighter. It is powerful enough for me to ski with a race boot, Firebird race boot. It is joyful. It is powerful enough for me. And it's just a joy to ski. And it, you can see in my face when I ski, it is genuine even though Blizzard is sponsoring my ski show in French. So there is a bias there, but there's no bias into my smile. Hey, c'est bien trop facile. It's way too easy. Ici, this is harder, softer in the snow, and I have absolutely no issues whatsoever. They build the ski with the True Blend technology, which is a laminated, laminated way to put the, the wood inside the core of the ski so that we have a softer part on the tip, a medium type of wood, and then a stronger lamination all the way up here, then a medium strength, and then a softer part at the end. So that you have a perfect carve in the snow with a white body on a day like today, if it, it is soft snow, soft snow when it comes to spring skiing, it's, it's a joy to ski and angle and test your ability, improve your skiing as well. If you're a regular skier and you don't ski, you think you don't think you're so much so good, you'll be a better skier. If you're a good skier, you'll become an excellent skier. If you're an excellent skier, then the sky's the limit. One thing that is really interesting with the technology of the Thunderbird is this carbon plate sea armor, a technology that Blizzard is as mastered over the last few years with the WRC. They have a carbon armor plate under the binding to increase the power and also reduce the vibration when you are on the edge and when the snow gets harder. In the case of the Thunderbird, it is outside of the ski and you could see with the pivot point that when I flex the ski, it actually moves and glides and allows the carve of the ski to be fully regular under the foot. So you don't end up with a U, you end up with a round shape, perfect shape to carve from side to side. And you know what, with stronger skis, sometimes people, they get out of the turn with a 12 meter radius and they will pop up in the air and then land and then skid and then up in the air. And with this, you don't get this phenomena. You can release, switch your edges, stay on the snow and carve and switch, prevent knee injury, save your back and especially ski all day from 8.30 until 4.30. The ski patrol will kick you off the mountain. Longer turns. I don't get catapult at the end of the turn and I can push on it if I want. I can do a slalom course with that. Chow, chow, chow. And curve. Yahoo! Man, oh man, oh man. Now, the people who say that, uh, you know, what feel the, you might like the Thunderbird because, uh, or prefer the Thunderbird because you're getting older. Well, so be it. I don't care. If I can ski all day long until I'm 95, I will take a Thunderbird every time of the day. So in my lineup, for sure next year, I'll have in my quiver one Thunderbird, 15 meter radius, wide body. So bye for now. Check out our next uh, clip on YouTube or our Facebook, Natural Skiers. I'm going back up for another run.